Once we beat back the virus, China must be held accountable. Their hostile government cares more about optics than the lives of not only their own citizens, but the world community. This massive cover-up in the critical early stages of this disease, frankly unforgivable. It is an indisputable fact that China lied. People all over the world suffering and dying as a result of these lies. Axios recently put together what is a comprehensive timeline that you need to see. We'll start on December 10, 2019, last year. That's when one of the first known coronavirus patients becomes ill. Then on December 27th, Wuhan health officials determined a new type of coronavirus was spreading. Three days later, on social media, top director at the Wuhan Central Hospital tried to warn the public about this dangerous new disease and how it was spreading from person to person. She was subsequently reprimanded and then censored. Then on January 1st, eight other doctors who posted information about the disease online were called in for questioning, also censored. On January 7th, the president of China became directly involved in the response. January 11th, the Wuhan Health Commission insisted there were no new cases, which we now know is a blatant lie. January 14th, World Health Organization, at this late date, tweeting, quote, Chinese authorities have found no clear evidence of human-to-human -human transmission of the virus. Really? And get this, four days later, China hosted its annual Lunar New Year banquet, Guess where? In the city of Wuhan, in that province, where tens of thousands of people gathered for a potluck supper. It wasn't until January 20th that China admitted the disease can spread from person to person. The first person that we know had corona in America arrived on January the 21st. Ten days later, the president's travel ban. The single best decision made to date by any country. It gave us time, saved countless thousands of Americans from contracting the virus, and likely many deaths. Now, by the way, at that point, it was too late. COVID-19 had already spread to South Korea. A day later, first case confirmed here. That's the 21st I was just talking about. Probably already multiple cases in Italy, which we now had discovered had direct flights from Wuhan, that province, and a large Chinese population working in their textile industry. For weeks, China could have sounded the alarm. Instead, they lied. They tried to cover it up, and they had massive potluck celebrations at the epicenter of this disease. And now China's government, now they're spreading baseless conspiracy theories, blaming the U.S. military for the spread of the disease. They're even proliferating an insane talking point that uses the, using the word China or Wuhan virus to describe the Wuhan virus is racist. And, of course, many social justice warriors and the media mob they're not particularly concerned that much about health. No, they want political correctness, even at a time like this, unwittingly echoing what is a Chinese propaganda talking point. Take a look. China and others have criticized you for using the phrase uh, Chinese virus. Uh, how do you feel about that? Are you going to continue using that phrase? The critics say using that phrase creates a stigma. Why do you keep calling this the Chinese virus? There are reports of dozens of incidents of bi bias against Chinese Americans in this country. Why do you keep using this? A lot of people say it's racist. You do have people in the Asian American community whose lives are at risk. And for the president to call it a Chinese virus or a foreign virus, that is just not, uh, it's just is so dangerous and not a good thing to do. This is a virus that came from the territory of China, but came from bats. This is a bat virus, not a, uh, a China virus. Uh, it doesn't speak Chinese. And today, the president had a clear message for those who seem more worried about identity politics than actual truth. Take a look. Why do you keep using this? A lot of people comes say from it's China. racist. It's not racist at all, no, not at all. It comes from China, that's why comes from China. I want to be accurate. About yeah, please, in John. This please. Behind you. Are um, you comfortable I have with a great, this I have great love uh, for all of the people from our country. But uh, as you know, China tried to say at one point, maybe they stopped now, that it was caused by American soldiers. That can't happen. It's not going to happen. Not as long as I'm president. Uh, it comes from China. Times of uncertainty, facts do matter. This virus did start in China, the Wuhan province, and it's not the first disease to be named after a location. For example, Ebola, that's named after a river, river in Africa. Then there's the Spanish flu, and then the Middle Eastern respiratory system known as MERS, and we can go on and on. Ultimately, the facts are clear. The Chinese government tried to cover it up. Recently, they kicked out all American 
Well, I have to say so-called, because I don't exactly trust fake news. The New York Times, Washington Post, Wall Street Journal, but I do want them there. And today, the president invoked what is known as the Defense Production Act. Now, this is a move that will massively ramp up the production and the distribution of very important medical supplies, ventilators, respirators. This will include 500 million new N95 masks. The president also dispatched earlier today two Navy hospital shifts, one to the East Coast, one to the West Coast. And the Pentagon is now preparing mobile medical units to be deployed all over the country as they are needed, if they are needed. Meanwhile, America's brilliant medical researchers, scientists, doctors, healthcare workers, they have been working around the clock as usual, not just on a vaccine, but also treatments that will mitigate or even prevent the contraction of the virus or the effects of the virus if you do get it. There are now multiple antiviral medications being studied. M many have been tested. One that was previously used against Ebola, one anti-malaria medication developed decades ago, showing a lot of promise. It has been used in the course of this particular coronavirus outbreak. Yes, we will get through this. We've been through a lot of tough times, and we always prevail. And as the president tweeted tonight, strong, united, yeah, we'll prevail. Moments ago, he posted this message to the American people. Let's take a look. We are really, we've pulled together as a unit. We've pulled together as a country. We will prevail together. We love the USA.